Well, hi, this is Jake Wizard 4, and I'm sitting here in Faraday Studios, home of Midnight Science Club and lots of other science expeditions. And I have a special announcement and a story to tell. To get started, I might need to explain who Michael Faraday was. I say he uses his name all the time, and we've named many things after him because we think so highly of the man. He was a British scientist. As a matter of fact, he was around when the term scientist was created. He was born in 1791. That was a few years before I was born, obviously. When most people think of Faraday's work, they'll think of electrochemistry, electromagnetism. He invented the electric motor, for example. I've heard some people say that if there were Nobel Prizes presented back then, he could have had four of them. His discoveries were that important. And he was an expert at captivating audiences and explaining the new laws of nature that were being discovered and how they would impact the world. There is a place on the planet Earth called the Royal Institution of Great Britain. And it is a remarkable place. It was built in 1795 by a group of scientists. And much of the work at the Royal Institution was focusing on what they called the common purposes of life. And you know what's really neat is here in the studio, we have something from the RI that was developed over 200 years ago and it's hanging on the wall. And that little lamp right there saved the lives of thousands of people who could have been killed in the coal mines because of the dust that would explode. And that lamp was able to burn in that dust cloud without setting it off. And that's the kind of thing they, they do at the RI all the time. The RI, as we call it, became very well known and well respected for a series of speeches and presentations they would give monthly uh, called the Discourse. They really do an excellent job of communicating what's going on in the world of science. They train uh, people from all around the planet. They have opportunities for students to learn from the best scientists on the planet. And they still give those Friday evening discourses. And there are gatherings of four or 500 people that come into the auditorium. And it's, oh, it's a neat auditorium. There's even a seat they sometimes set aside for members of the royal family to come. Yes, the Royal Institution is is a beautiful, wonderful place on this planet. And the information they share via their discourses is just jaw-dropping. And amazingly, this old wizard was asked to present a discourse at the RI. Woo! Can you imagine that? I got, I'm holding back the tears. So we were recognized, uh, Faraday Studios, and the work we've been doing here, the whole team, as a solution to a problem. The problem being, how do you get young people who today live in a world where they have very little time to pause and consider anything. They get so much information so fast all day long. And in order to think like a scientist, you have to know how to pause and focus your thinking and maybe spend extensive amounts of time to solve a problem. So the strategy we developed to solve that problem, Midnight Science Club, we call it, has proven to be effective to capture the minds of young people to sharpen those minds and, and to teach them the skills that all scientists use around the world. So it is a big thing we're doing and explaining that is the basis of our discourse. There goes our day. Hey, there you go, don't burn the wizard. That's sweet, man. You like that, didn't you? Yeah. That's so cool. So yes, we went to London. It was a gas. I'm still trembling. I'm still in recovery. What a trip it was. And as I approached that building, every time I walked in, my knees started to rattle. I was so nervous. The history and the things we saw, we got to handle a lot of Faraday's devices that he used in his research, 200 years, precious tools. We got to go through the library and see the books. One of the things we saw was the equipment that Faraday used when he first started there as a scientist, as an apprentice. Probably one of the, the best things in my career. Thank you for joining this old wizard here at Faraday Studios as I shared my experience in London with my wonderful crew and all the people there at the Royal Institution. It meant so much to me to do that. Could I ask them, uh, 
to help me do one last demonstration as it's going now. I'd like you to all to stand up, please, and get your hands like this. And when I do three, two, one, I'd like you all at the same time bring your hands together with as loud as you can make it. So in three, two, one, good. Thank you. I got a standing ovation at that Royal Institution. Wow. Thank you. So if you would like to watch the old wizard and his discourse at the Royal Institution, I'm going to say that again. It is so cool. If you would like to watch the wizard, that's me, at the, oh, I can't, I can't even keep my mind straight. I'm so nervous. Just go to the Royal Institution YouTube channel and it's right here listed in the video description. And we're going to have some other videos coming through. We, we, we did a lot. A large number of activities and we're, we're going to put those videos out too here shortly so make sure you check those out on all of our social media sites where you can find us at midnight science club and faraday studio well thanks for joining me this was a very meaningful trip to london but what's more meaningful to me is the relationship we have you're a part of the family here at faraday studios and thank you for for doing that for being with us and uh, we'll see you down the road